he feels that he's lying to him. It's just like, yo, this can't be your only lick. Because when he tried to set him up with the Chinese place, the nigga said, fuck you. And just walked <laughs> away like, like, yo, I'm trying to, yo, look, like, I got you a setup. Like, cops ain't going to be in here. You can make your money. Like, yo, the nigga was not having it. It was like, you can have this bullshit. <laughs> he's too aggressive, man. That was, un- <laughs> that nigga said, I'm trying to show your operation. Fuck your operation and fuck you. Like, what do you want from him? What do you want from him? Like, what? Do you, what is it? What is it? You know, he think he lying that much. He think that Rock is still in the game. So it's just like he hating on that. But it's all. It all makes no sense right now. It, it's all like why. So what if you working for Rock? You you trying to get your own thing anyway? What is the? What's the point? What is this angle? I feel like a character like this needs to come more when the season is about to, like, really. I mean, when the series is about to end, like, it's fifth fifth season. <laughs> or, or not at all. <laughs> or not at all. But the series is about to end. They introduce some new guy, and he's out here, like, taking people out. You know what I mean? And you kind of yeah. scared, scared for the characters because you know the ending. Everybody probably going to die anyway. <laughs> disclaimer no matter if we liked your movie liked your show or hated the show or hated your movie doesn't matter we respect you shout out to you and we support you and we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you black on black prime we stand on what we say though and just like always if you didn't ask for our opinion we didn't ask you to listen to it so sorry click and turn it off (laughs) Hey, what up, cousin? What you doing? Aw, oh, shit. What you want? T- damn, why you asking me that? Sean, if you call me asking me what I'm doing, it's because you got something you want me to do. Man, you tripping. Check it out, though. Damn it, see? Hey, chill out. Why you acting like that? You don't even know what I want. It don't matter what you want. You always asking for stuff. Hey, hey, nigga. Didn't you just ask me to handle that little thing with the dude and thing and... Didn't I do that shit without asking twice? Didn't you say you owed me and it didn't matter what I asked you, you would do it? Why you bringing up old shit? Tanya. All right, nigga, damn. What is it? Hello. Yo. We're back and we finally... Come to the point of Canaan turning into bullshit. If you know what Canaan I'm talking about, I'm talking about raising Canaan. Power. Book book three. Power book. Book three. Book three. Power, power book three. Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan season three. Indeed. Episode four. Is that episode four already? It's episode five. Five already. Yeah. We already halfway into the season. Mm-hmm. And um <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, it's not a bad show still, but mm-hmm. I need to know how it carries on from here. You it's not I mean? a bad show still, but we see they're about to take that power writers. Uh, it's like the the power be having good writers when they start, and then the writers just be like, "All right, we got something else to do." So this is the writers are gonna fill in for us, and they be like, "We got it from here." <laughs> I got some ideas. <laughs> Yeah, man, it, it it turned into like when they brought Ronnie's character in. I'm just like, okay, he's here. He's gonna be a problem, and Unique is gonna end up probably taking him out at some point, Cause, right? Because he's a problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Don't really like his character that much. I see people posting them like, oh, he's the new boogeyman. I'm just like, yeah. I don't see that really. Don't want that really. 
Yeah. Uh, wait, we had a comment on that too. Uh, cause somebody, cause uh, apparently this episode was leaked. We didn't take no time to look for it or nothing. I didn't see no. Nah, leak. Nah. I, I, I caught it when it premiered. Okay. But uh, one of the commenters do it was, it was uh the dude he was like um he said he saw the leak he said he wants to know what we think about him after that leak. What we think about uh Ronnie? Ronnie, yeah. Uh, let me. I want to get the let me get the exact quote he said. <clears throat> I want to mess it up, but he said I guess he. I, I'm feeling like he saw the leak. Yeah, because like he, him saying that kind of made me think I was just like okay, Ronnie had to do something this episode, so I knew something was gonna happen. I thought it wouldn't go. I didn't think it was gonna be what it was, but I figured something transpired to make him say that and make us be like, oh man, like he he's better now. Like I I still don't like him. I don't like him even more now. God damn, this is long. We should just do comments right now because this is a long. <laughs> All right, so roll, roll into it. Um, you got him on deck. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, let me start from the top. Uh, I'm start from newest actually because don't be. Um, your girl Bree. She said, "Miss Rock, I can't." Oh no, she's quoting uh, famous. She said, "Miss Rock, I can't stand famous." Yeah, he need to go. Ronnie needs to go back to. Ronnie needs to go back to non-verbal Ronnie. And I think you said the same thing. You liked him when he didn't talk. Yeah. I, I ain't like him when he didn't talk either. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't like him at all. Uh, and then she says, another girl, another one from your girl, Bree. Question, why on earth, why on earth Dean doesn't have, oh, Dean, the one got killed. Uh, why on earth Dean doesn't have security with him because Ronnie shouldn't have been able to get in him, get him at home. You're a plug and who going to call the police? And I agree. He shouldn't have been able to get, uh, get got that easy. His grandma could call. She can't hear. That, um, uh, Tawan, Can how the hell you say that? Kowan. Taiwan, Canela. Huh? <laughs> it's, uh, Taiwan, Connell. Ta Taiwan, Connell, 5791. Mm -hmm. Said that episode on OG Power, that character was Ghost Uncle who took over the bar after his dad died. That's the character I kept talking about. Yeah, I figured that. So that was Ghost Uncle. They didn't have anything to do with uh, Lulu. But then they are black. Everybody's everybody's uncle when you black. We're going to see. It, we will see. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. Then Miss Sharon said, great review, guys. Shout out to you, Miss Sharon. Yeah. Um, Carlos Sosa, Ronnie Myers. <laughs> like stupid. Gonna step on unique, aka Boosie Badass, this Friday. Hey, hey oh, so that was it. So he basically spoiled it for us, but we didn't know. Yeah, low key. I, I wouldn't even tell you. I wouldn't even. I didn't peep what he was saying. Really, I thought he was just making a joke because he's like yeah. Ryan Myers, like Michael Myers or whatever. But yeah, so I yeah he yeah he did that. Yeah, we didn't catch it though. Calling that nigga Ronnie Myers is funny though. And then this is the one I was talking about. Uh, J J. I want to say Jay Sparrow, but I don't know if that's how you were trying like, to say it. It looks like Jay Spro or Jay Spro, either or. Okay, Jay Spro. Good review, fellas. I got to get back on my grind. I haven't recapped an episode since episode one. I can agree. I think they try too hard at times to give us a non-typical hood dude because they give us nothing but hood dudes in BMF and Power Universe. But it shows their inexperience with writing non-hood characters. Because how would a boss like Dean get rolled up on inside of his own house and not even put up a fight? Which is true. P.S. You might have heard about the episode five leak, so I wonder will you still continue not to like Ronnie, or if episode five will change how you feel about him? Now, uh, I didn't know about a leak until that comment. So, and and then even with that, I still didn't watch it. But uh, I'll read the these. It's a couple more, and then I'll, uh, I'll say what I was going to say. Uh, Beatrice, kiddo. I, now we didn't told you. You timestamp your comments. <laughs> Like famous is hilarious. <laughs> I hate the way Kane talks. Okay, that's all. That's the general comment. Uh, uh, great, great episode. Famous and Rock is out of pocket. You know, general. But when she said the bunk, I wasn't a hundred percent sure what she meant by the bunk. I don't know what that means, and I don't know what Ronnie Illtown means. Illtown, I don't know. But when I think uh, of Illtown, I think of what Naughty by Nature when it was rapping. They said that, but I, I still don't know what that means. Beatrice, let us know what that means in the comments for this episode. And time stampers, man. You know, she was like, that ain't my style. <laughs> <laughs> Comment is lit. She don't, she don't care. 
Right. Uh, but <clears throat> as far as what Jay Spurrow was saying, I, I, it makes me hate his character even more, if anything, because I, I already feel like when we got introduced to him, I get what you were saying about them not knowing how to write dudes that ain't typically hood, but just don't do it then. Just stick to the typical hood dudes. Because it's a typical hood story. This, he's like a, a super villain that don't nobody want to see. Yeah, like he... I'll, I am curious about a backstory, but I, I'm going to need that soon. You know what I mean? Like, you know how they sometimes they'll go backwards on a story or whatever, like kind of like set the uh, the scene to like, I don't know, five years from now, and you give you a Ronnie story. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd like to see something like that to know why he is, like how he is. I feel like you said this like maybe last podcast or something. Like, you, we just need to know. I need background on mm-hmm. why he is the way he is, because I know he wasn't running the street like that. Before right, you. it's it's like he's almost um he's almost a child, you know what I mean? Like mentally, even the way like he when he when he stole the car for no reason from the the drug dealer kid and brought it to Unique, it was like a little kid showing off. Yeah. He's like, "Look what I got!" And it's like, "What? Like what was that?" Shame to the, and he's like, "Yeah, snitch too." Like, and it was just like, "Yeah, yeah, you, you may you need to get uh Unique over there with Rock right now." <laughs> Nigga, why he playing with fish and shit? Like, yo, bro, like, come on, man. It's, just, <laughs> it's, like, weird. it's really it's weird. weird. It's it's yeah. it's really weird, and it takes away from the authentic the authentic uh story that was given at first. Like, the, it's like the they was given a real straight out of the eighties slash nineties hood story. Yeah, you can't just throw a character into a series that uh and and have that character that we don't know nothing about murder the main character like that too like that like that don't really make a whole lot of sense to me unless we got some background story and if you're gonna make him like this scary psycho killer he can't get his ass whooped before he died like that he got his ass before he died and before the episode he was saying how he had his brother's back basically yeah my brother ain't going nowhere I, I think he was very, he was in, not embarrassed because there wasn't nobody else there, but I think he thought he was bigger and better than he was. And he got whooped, you get whooped by your little brother, it feel a little different. I'm not saying I would kill my little brother, but, you know, <laughs> you punk your little brother your whole life and then he fire on you and leave you on the ground. <laughs> leave but you still, the- whoop his ass, whoop his ass, and then yeah. leave it at that. You didn't have to kill him. Like, it's that, that them writing, them writing off Unique's character like that is it, just like, it's like a bad taste in your mouth. It's like, damn, like that? Like, y'all just don't give a fuck. So how you gonna do Uncle Marvin and everybody else we care about? You can take him out. At the, what, look, where, at the at open mic? You gonna shoot Uncle Marvin? That's it. Nigga, they gonna probably kill Rock, nigga, while she taking a bath. <laughs> taking a bath, you shoot, shoot, shoot. Silencers, nigga. It's just like, you be like, what happened? <laughs> like, so what? I ain't gonna lie. That, we, they, we're talking, we're jumping all over the place. That was like how the episode ended after... <clears throat> After he killed Unique, it was just like, come on. Yeah, that was the the big part of the episode. Uh, like we we did find out that um, well, not we because we already knew, but um, Marvin found out that Dean died, and he was having a meeting with the guy that he knows from AA. And, yeah. Um, so it looked like he was kind of you know shook up about that, and I'm not sure how that's gonna uh look the next time he meets up with the white guy like you know what was that about like you know what i mean like are mm-hmm. you still in this you know why did you jump up so fast kind of situation or you might not care at all who knows but it did look like marvin you know got a big issue with that going on so he might get and into it, it with uh ronnie now did you see the white guy's reaction like he was mad marvin left like he wanted to get a scoop from him <clears throat> i think that i I don't, I feel like they both are using each other in a way right now because mm-hmm. it's like I feel like Marvin is using him for his you know his voice and his you know he's a writer or whatever and he wants him to like hey you know check out my daughter yeah I mean, but I'm saying with, with with the reporter because after he after he told him about Dean he was like what what's the story on him like is he a drug dealer or... and then yeah. Marvin was kind of like yeah I gotta go and then when he got up dude was kind of like man damn like he wanted the story from him. yeah he fucked up like he's, he he wanted he wanted he wanted to write about it I think. Yeah, uh-huh. he know he knows Marvin's still in the street shit because that's what we called when he was in street shit. That's true. Um, ain't no telling. I think that um, they both using each other though. Mm-hmm. You know, for the story, him for the story, and you know, 
Marvin wants him to, you know, hey, help my daughter out, get her out there for promo or whatever. Maybe for his right. new bar that he can write about it. Right. Um, that was a quick, feel- that was a quick scene though. It was, it was, it, it was like in and out. Yeah. We we didn't really get too much from it. Um, how'd you feel about uh uh Ronnie running up on um on Kanan for selling weed, but then pressing him like you work for Nick? It was like what was what was that about? It's just it's it's like just like you said, a kid man. He doesn't know anything. Like he's just right. like he's just clueless to what's really going on. He's asking all of these questions, but he's doing it in like the worst way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's like, he think Kane out, well, Kane and not Kane, some not menace to society. Um, <laughs> think Kane and out here selling hair run. He right. Selling weed. You know what I mean? So right. he, he tried, I think he thought that Unique had something else going on, which we find out that he did. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like he had, like something was going on, but mm-hmm he feels that he's lying to him. It's just like, yo, this can't be your only lick. Cause when he tried to set him up with the Chinese place, the nigga said, fuck you. And just walked <laughs> away. Like, like, yo, I'm trying to, yo, look, like I got you a setup. Like the cops ain't going to be in here. You can make your money. Like, yo, the nigga was not having it. It was like, you can have this bullshit. <laughs> he's too aggressive, man. That was, un- <laughs> that nigga said, I'm trying to show your operation. Fuck your operation and fuck you. Like, what do you want from Nick? What do you want from him? Like, what do you, what is it? What is it? You know, he think he lying that much. He think that Rock is still in the game. So it's just like he hating on that. But it's all it all makes no sense right now. It, it's all like why? So what if you working for Rock? You you trying to get your own thing anyway? What is the what's the point? What is this angle? I feel like a character like this needs to come more when the season is about to, like, really. I mean, when the series is about to end, like it's fifth fifth season, <laughs> or, or not at all, <laughs> or not at all. But the series is about to end. They introduce some new guy, and he's out here like taking people out. You know what I mean? And you kind of yeah. scared. You kind of scared for the characters because you know the ending. Everybody probably gonna die anyway. Right. Everybody but Kenny. Right, but don't be, you know, don't be just taking people out, man, just because, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like Joey Badass wanted to leave, I don't think, because I, I read an interview or whatever online saying that he was devastated when he read the, uh, the script. <laughs> he read the script and he was just like, y'all, y'all serious? He was mad. He was like, I y'all mean, I, cause we was mad. Like, that's that's really, like, that's this is it? That's yeah. it for him? Yeah, man. You better have him, have him wake up in that ditch or something, because this don't make no sense. So this, as, it really don't make no sense. So as a writer, and you writing the series, and you know about this character that everybody like, would you get to a point to where you would want to kill off that character, or would you want that character to keep on going? Like, like no matter, like you might want to, you know, do a spinoff, whatever the case is. Would you kill off a character that like that meant something to the series like that? Um. If it made sense, there's a there will be a reason to kill off a favorite character if it makes sense. So it's like it's like um, you ever seen City of God? Long time ago, that's the uh, it's in the subtitles, right? Yeah. So when they killed that, they killed one of the main dudes on there. It was like, damn, he got killed. But it's it made sense because you felt it. Mm-hmm. The the way Unique went out, it's just like you just you basically it's like you you wasted a great character and killed him in the worst possible way he got killed by somebody we don't give a fuck about i'd rather i'd rather marvin shot him over some bullshit or uh, some shit he heard so it's like a setup give me a setup then but like like give me a let him get killed and it'd be like a fucked up situation not some goofy ass shit not his older brother in his fucking uh members only jacket beating him with a pipe to death then roll it like, in the garbage, like what the, it, whatever the whatever ditch that they had him in yeah it's like it's like that it's that that hits the kid that hits the audience in the wrong way like oh y'all just don't give a fuck about him yeah y'all don't care what we think so now like you said now rock gonna get killed in the bathtub it's like damn you just don't give a fuck what we think yeah it's just like we're gonna kill off this character for no good reason because it's not like Mm. because you know how some characters they get killed off because the the actor gotta leave he got other stuff going so they take him out Mm. y'all took him out and he was trying to stay in like he he, Took him out and he was trying to stay in. That was crazy. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's messed up because Unique might have been the most interesting character mm-hmm. this season so far. 
I don't even, you know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, I, I liked him throughout the series. I mean, he wasn't like the, I'm not even sure who my favorite was, but like, I didn't have a problem with Unique being there. Yeah, he, it, it's it's not it's not necessarily, um, it's like what's another word? Because you don't want to say it's your favorite. Because my favorite is Marvin, as far as the characters go right now. So it's not like he's my necessarily my favorite, but he's a great character for the show. He keeps the energy of the show. You don't get irritated when you see his scenes. Okay. Now he's he's not there. I'm gonna be irritated watching Ronnie's goofy ass run around threatening more people. But like he was building something. I felt like yeah. going to see. You know, the Italians and, you know, now the Italians hooking them up. And, you know, I mean, he can build his own empire without rock and kind of do his own thing. Like, I feel like there was some development there. He, is, he was gone. literally he was literally supposed to die maybe six times in this motherfucker. He kept working his way through. Yeah. The one time he can't work his way through is because of his older brother being jealous. Hit him in the head. I, I thought he would at least, okay, you beat his ass. Yeah, right. take the win. And then you know it it come, it looks like on some creed shit, low key. It's mm -hmm. just like y'all sitting next to each other and be just like, man, like you tripping, bro. Like I've been trying to help you. Like, yeah, I know, man. Like they both got their ass whooped together almost. Yeah, you know what I mean, but he just he killed his brother. It's I, I'd ra look. I'd rather even though I don't like Ronnie, I'd rather him get that ass whooping and be like, I gotta leave town. Show up to rock like I gotta get up out of here or I'm gonna have to kill my brother. Like let his character exit. Give us the hope that oh maybe in the future he might come back. But you, you, they wasted them. They they wasted what they built. Yeah, man. I was, <laughs> people, I don't know. I, I think he's a liked character. It might just be me. I think people are fucking with Ronnie, but I just I just don't. Oh, like you think people character. like people like Ronnie? I think so. I mean, just off of me seeing the comments, you know what I mean? It's like, oh my god, like this nigga, he crazy. He the book. He like the new Lamar. And, from uh, BMF and all that. I'm just like, eh. But that's the problem. So, and that's a good character to bring up. Lamar started off crazy. Yeah. In, in a in a normal nigga crazy. You knew exactly it, but then, was. But then his ending was goofy as fuck, too. Yeah. It so, it, so it's it's it, it got to be the writing team. It, it's like they start with the, the good writers, and then they just be like, all right, y'all, y'all can do the rest. We out. I'm not even 100% clear anymore. I think it's, it's, it's got a lot to do with a lot. I mean, because at the end, there is a story for all of these characters before the writers step in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I don't, I think that it was already written out that Unique was going to die at some point. You know what I mean? Nah, I don't nah, think, that, I don't, I think can no new writers come in and just kill off a character. That don't make sense. No, so there there is no there is no real story. Uh, the only thing we know about the Kanan story was Kanan... <clears throat> And his cousin, Jukebox, who was a singer. That's all we knew for sure. Concrete. Mm -hmm. Everything everything else is being made up as they go. Because they can literally tell us whatever they want to. We got assumptions that everybody's dead at the end. We don't know who really did. Yeah. There could have been a world where Unique fucking retired and, 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 and made his escape with his money. Never heard from him again. It's like there could have been that ending. But these new writers come in with their own idea of where we're going to go with this shit. Because they got the open floor to do what they want to because we don't know the story. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Just tired. You feel like, uh, I feel like they, I feel like it's like an open hand slap in the face. It's, it's like, yeah, we know you invested, but so what? We're going to do what we want to and do something about it. Yeah, it's, it's you know, and I'll be, I'll be so invested in these series. Like, you just, you're watching them and you're just like, man, you're waiting for like this thing to happen to where you had when's the last time you sat on a series to where it ended you was like you couldn't wait till the next episode came out you said you the last see, time yeah because you couldn't because i remember back in the day it was like man like something happened so crazy at the end and you want to know what's gonna happen next week but well, i feel like, like snowball these, right like these shows lately have just been kind of like eh. I ain't really tripping because, like, well, they might not even give me what I want next week. Like, even though something crazy happened, they might go backwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, I'm not even sure what they're going to give me this week. I don't know if they're going to give me what I want. I don't know if they're going to mess up the story. But I'm just not excited for the next episode. I, I think it's more so um, what's going on right now. Literally, literally, we're, we're just talking about what happened with Ronnie. And it was, that's the that's the biggest thing that happened. And it's, and it's all goofy. 
We don't. I don't. I don't give a fuck about this fake TLC group. Really, really, and honestly, I don't care about that. I don't care about Marvin's relationship with this newspaper writer. I don't care about Rock getting harassed by the police. Like, I don't care about Kane and selling weed. I really don't care about nothing that's going on. About Lulu's new uh, spot at the Whoopi Wild. Who gives a shit <laughs> with the all white lady? <laughs> and it's like, and, it, and it's like, um, and it's only because of how strong the show came out. It was some shit happening in the first two seasons, but now it's it, it, now it's now we're not worried. We're not worried about nobody. Who are you worried about right now? No one. I was worried about you know unique and what he had going on. That's why I think I'm so upset. That's why I think I'm a little salty because I was like I was mm-hmm. invested in his story because Kanan been kind of on some. I thought the story was about Kanan. So let me, just put, let me just put that. Let me just put that out there, you ladies and gentlemen. I thought the story would be about Kanan, but Kanan has been kind of low key. You know, his mama called him up with guns. He's selling weed on bikes. You know, yeah. It's just not it, his. His story is not moving me right now. So I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, cool. Like they letting other characters shine. I'm all right with that. But you gonna don't kill the character that's shining. <laughs> unique, unique had the most <laughs> going on. Unique had was dealing with every circle. He's yeah. dealing with every circle, of mixing and matching, and maneuvering through every circle. Yeah. And he's the only, he's the one with the action. And that's the one you killed off. So now we got to go back to watching Kanan uh, use the bikers to sell weed. I I watched the last clip, uh, the, the episode next, and it's like the what was that a unique girlfriend going around with a gun or whatever? And I'm just like, man, who are you? She's silly. <laughs> first, first of all, she's been silly since we introduced to her. Jesus, what are you doing? You stop it. What are you? Why are you coming home late? Just eating sandwiches and shit. And uh, she throwing glasses at the door. I'm just like, yo, she's just not important. And now you're going to put her, now you're going to, now you're going to switch unique for her, for her to be walking around trying to get revenge. So at the end of the episode, she's going to get choked out by Ronnie. Oh. And 50 Cent will have a, a quote on love, love she gonna pull up on She's going to pull up on Rock. Uh, and rock on killer. Uh, if, if 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 that's even a uh, that's a waste of time. Okay, no. So they're gonna use that bridge as rock having to get back at Ronnie because you killed the only man she ever loved. That better not be because Rock didn't love that dude. Rock so, Rock is a so watch how they write. It. <laughs> rock just was like, okay, like this is this is mine for now. Watch how they write it. They better not. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm going to get revenge for you, nigga. I'm going to be hella bad. Yeah, for the one man she ever loved. So now she got to hit the streets to find Ronnie. And Ronnie going to be working with the Puerto Rican lady with the, the hair or the Cuban lady or whatever the fuck she is. <sighs> he's going to be working up under her, selling the drugs, and stealing the people's only jacket. If if he's not using the money for anything, what does he need the money for? Why, does it, why is it so important for him to sell drugs? I don't even know no more because it's, it's, like, <laughs> it's every time I was like, this dude, he's not silent at all. Like what he's doing. Everybody know he the one doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. Like, and before Unique died, he told Rock at the funeral. He told her what? That his brother did it. His brother killed Dean. Oh. So it's like that. That news is out. He not quiet about nothing he do. So, I don't give. I don't like this dude. <laughs> I mean, is this dude is he making me want to see uh, Power Book Two? That's why at this point I'm just like, yo, man, bring Tariq back. Let's go back to Tariq. <laughs> bring Tariq back. Hey, if you're gonna give me unorganized, give me Power Book Two, Tariq. I take that unorganized all over the place because yeah. at least they know over there they doing silly shit. Yeah, man. Over here they started with some real life. They was they was with the shit. It was just real life '90s street shit. But now we going into Marvin is pro um, his girl. I mean his daughter being with the girl now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know after I accept it fully after the relationship that they've been building. You know he kind of see you know hey you know my daughter's talking to this girl. She hey she nice too. Juke she looking cool. <laughs> <laughs> That should have me dying because he was in the car like, yeah. I'm like, man, if you're such a goofy ass <laughs> man, come on, man. 
and I, um, I don't, uh, man, I hate to, I don't care about nothing that's going. I'm really trying to, I have no high hopes for Friday. Oh, this Friday. I was like, yeah, what are you I, talking about? <laughs> I, I, when is the shot coming back? They keep on messing with me, man. Every time I see them say something like shy, you know, to come back soon, they give me like these weird, like, it's almost like they're spinning me. And they'll mm-hmm. be like, hey, you know what I mean? Like, they make you click a link, just like, you know, new part of shot coming back. You click the link. Not 100% sure when Chai is coming back yet, but when it does, what, 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 Kevin's gone and da 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 da. <laughs> we need another show to watch, man, because rap, rap shit is over. If y'all can tell, our energy is low on this because we don't know what to talk about. I, like, I don't know where we're. Are we raising candy? When is when is candy, candy going to get rose? Like, ra- raise them already. Because it's like, it's, 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 it's. I don't even know what's going on. Did they show Detective Howard this episode? They did. He had a, a small um, meeting with, I forgot what that guy's name was. Oh, he did. He, he did. He had like a meeting at like a restaurant, but they weren't talking about nothing that was, that made the episode move along. Like it was like a really quick scene. And that the FBI was the FBI. They were like, what's up with your, your shooting case? Yeah. And then they played that music kind of like, oh, they about to tap back into that. No, they, they don't need to. <laughs> They're going to though. Yeah, um, Ronnie did meet up with the um, Colombian lady again, but it don't look like she really messing with him right now. But how do you know where she live? Ronnie can get close to anybody. How you just how she's just like a she's like a kingpin, right? Queenpin. Yeah. Um, how they know where you live like that, and why you not scared? Cause he can get security doesn't matter to Ronnie. He can get around air. He killed dude at his grandma's house. He can get to the Puerto Rican lady with the hair. He ran up on Canaan. He did. It's like he get he get close to everybody. He dressed like um, a boogie. He dressed like Ned Flanders. <laughs> that jacket and that stiff walk, and them white shoes that he. <laughs> I hate it, man. I, I hate it. I, I I literally hate his character. He's a he's a super villain. He should be on Marvel. You know what Paul you should put up? Paul. Um <laughs> Who versus who? <laughs> who versus <laughs> Famous and Ronnie. Who 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 we ready to see die first? Like, yeah, who's the worst character at this point? At this at this point for me, it's probably Ronnie. Only because I can ignore Famous. Famous got some street cred. He went to jail. It was crazy. The didn't give a good goddamn. That nigga <laughs> came back to the house. That nigga said, you so you so? Niggas go to jail every day. Where's the money at, Fame? The he money. got arrested. Charlie's he fucking with you. He's like, you broke, you, you bailed the other nigga out. You didn't bail me up. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> He go, hey, if Kanan was like a regular character and he wasn't like the main dude, I think Famous would take him out. Yeah. He's like, I didn't tell you, but I killed the old boy. You know what I mean? You don't, give a fuck. You don't tell nobody that shit, nigga. I'm still not doing, I'm still not doing no Kanan impression. I'm still not going to do it. And he was on his helmet for nothing. I hate it. I I. I literally got nothing from this episode. I, I'm thinking about everything that happened. Rock, Rock got her her buildings broken into. The cops threatened her. Cops didn't really. Cops are just telling her that they're gonna keep on breaking into her shit, and if unless she, she pay for it, she's they're extorting her. Pretty mm-hmm. much. That's that's all that is. And who cares about that? Like, the, who how's gives that a, a fuck? Why is that a part of the story? Um, <sighs> we got to keep the racism going. That's good. That's a good point. You always got drag racism, man. That's what it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our uh, opinion on this episode. If you didn't get it by now, Unique is dead. <laughs> <laughs> one of the most, one of the most lackluster deaths of a character. 
in a long time of a good character though. Unique was a dope character. Unique, I think, like you said, Unique could have had a spinoff, yeah. and it'd have been better than Tommy. I'll tell you that. It'd have been better than fucking Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Tommy. Imagine, uh, imagine <laughs> if Unique had a spinoff. To be fire, Loki, man. Like that shit have been hard. Great badass is is pretty good when it like he him. Excuse me, I know he's a good rapper and everything, but I really never got into his music a hundred percent. Only because it's you know it's maybe as an East Coast thing, I don't know. But I just no, he got never, bars. He got bars. I, I know he can spit, so it's like mm-hmm. I heard him before, but I never like got into it. To where it's just like, man, his new album was fire, right? Uh, but I, him, him as an actor, dope beast. He could play the the new Jack City remake, Nino Brown. It's coming. I can see it. I mean, I can see. It. I can see a lot of things at this point. You know, they put anybody in anything. Um, <laughs> but they literally wasted his character off here, y'all. It's go ahead and kill Uncle Marvin now. If if y'all don't give a fuck. Did I make this up or um, dude in the wheelchair was being interrogated? He was. And he brought up Rock and then Rock went back to jail because of it. Because they said, what about Raquel? They said, what about Raquel? He was like, what Rock got to do with this? They were like, Rock? That's her name? Get me out of here. He already said too much. All he did was abbreviate her name. He had to act like they, he said her like like you know like she had a street name. Like what you yeah. mean, uh, Riggedy Roro? Like really, you know what I mean? It's like he said Rock, like Rock Hill. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> he said he was there as a favor to uh, to Detective Howard. But you're a murderer, sir. You've you've done <laughs> you've been doing street work just, from that wheelchair. Just killed. Well, you just were a part of a mob killing. Yeah, <laughs> you at you at the police. I I thought Marvin was just gonna be like passing by on accident. Like what the <laughs> fuck is this nigga doing? What is this nigga doing? <laughs> a wheelchair, that nigga down some steps. <laughs> like you got me fucked up. <laughs> you hear snitching. So the, so those cops are coming from Rock, coming from Rock and Detective Howard. That's yeah. pretty much what I got as far as their story goes. Yeah, man. Other than that, it ain't too much, man. I don't. That's all we I need. Some, we need some more shows to watch, y'all. If y'all know any black shows out there, we should be getting some. Since the strike is over, we might. We should be getting some shit coming up. P Valley. P Valley coming back. You know it's coming back at some point. No. It's, been, it's been a minute. P I don't think that's coming back. It's coming back. I don't think so. It's coming back. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, talk to us, we'll talk back wherever. If you there, let us know below what y'all thought about this episode. And do you feel like Unique should be dead? Or if he's dead, should he have been should he have died the way he died? Because I feel like it was unnecessary. And it was supposed to be a shocker. Yeah. But I just flat out didn't give a fuck. I literally sucked my teeth when it happened. Yeah, I text you. I was just like, man, let me see if this nigga seen the episode, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. I was like, nigga. <laughs> that was my reaction when he got killed. I was hoping I'm like, I'm up. like, oh, he's knocked out. And then he showed up at the ditch. And then when you know when you hear 50 Cent talking, you know that's the end of the episode. That's I was like, oh, nigga. You would have been fired if you would have opened his eyes before the credits. That's what I wanted. Yeah. That would have been like, like, some, like not like some Freddy Cougar shit. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want it, nigga. Look, this is redemption, though. <laughs> it's bullshit, but it's redemption for his character. Say... It goes down. Ronnie has to go get the body before somebody shows up to get the body, but the body's not there. Yeah. Spinoff. Unique's in, in Brooklyn. He done set up shop. <laughs> Something. Something else happened. Like they're giving him another. They're giving him She was so good. They're giving him his own show. Man, he deserved one. Yeah. Anyway. That's where we at, y'all. I don't... See y'all episode six. Maybe. Like, share, subscribe. All that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.